Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola. Happy New Year to all of you. I wish you a 2022 beyond your imagination. So I'm going to show you something that a lot of us overlook and it's basic maintenance. You can see the dust and the dirt accumulate on that. And most people will ignore this. Um, it's critical, especially this time of year, for, for um, equipment installed outdoors that this gets cleaned. So you clean these terminals. It's very, very important you do it. As you can see, this particular unit, um, we have um, a situation where one of the batteries, the voltage is higher than the other. So that's why you're having the balancer or battery balancer try to balance it. So this doesn't happen often enough, but every day, uh, let me rephrase that, it happens often enough. Every day once, every day the battery starts to charge and we exceed a certain voltage, we get a difference in voltage between battery one and battery two, and that does it. So today, I'll come back and I'll clean this. But let me take you to another critical part of your system that we tend to ignore. So I'm going to clean all this here uh, for corrosion and dirt. I'm going to clean the top of these batteries. As you see, there are vents here. These vents serve the purpose of if you overcharge them, the gases can escape. So there's one right there, another one here, and another one here. So it's critical to keep that clean. Also inside, we have an inverter. Which pop, it's kept in here to minimize exposure to dirt, but we're supposed to open it and clean it, especially the fans of the inverter. These are not IP65 rated equipment or IP55, so it's critical that you open and clean the fans. Now I'm going to take you to the roof and show you the panels. You see panels I cleaned today versus panels I cleaned two weeks ago. So I'm on the roof and you can see my panels. Even though I cleaned them, you can still see some dirt on them, but not as bad as one I'm about to show you on the other side. So I cleaned all this today and that's the second time I was doing that in two weeks uh, it's the Hamatan season so it gets very very dusty in Lagos and everything gets covered in dirt, in dirt especially fine dust uh, Hamatan is supposed to signify a combination of um, cold front coming from Europe and um, the dust over the Sahara so the cold front goes through Europe over the Sahara and then brings it to Nigeria and it deposits all this very fine dust and it's been um, challenging. We've not had rain for a while so our panels get really nasty. So let me show you, you can see those are clean because I cleaned them today. But look at these. Um, they look worse this morning than they do right now. But they were cleaned not too long ago. You see them? See the dirt on them? Those are not connected to anything right now. Um, they were connected to my PV inverter. My, my PV inverter is no longer online, so I don't have any need for I don't have any need for those panels. Now um, this can account for up to a 10 to 15 reduc percent reduction in uh, production. And when you're like me and you're 100% on of the grid and you're on solar, it begins to impact uh, how well your system does. So look at the edge of this panel. You see the edge? The dirt that I've accumulated there? That impacts because now you're going to have diodes that are blocking. And when the diodes block, you have, um, you, have you lose uh, performance, you lose production from the section that the diode will block because of this dirt you have here. So these were cleaned two weeks ago. And look how bad they've gotten right. Can we bring it in? So as part of your regular maintenance, it's critical you clean your solar panels. Yes. Most a lot of people are afraid of heights. Let me give you a perspective as to how high I am. Oh, I'm pumping water and the, and the tank is full. I have to go downstairs and shut it up. Okay, a lot of people are afraid of heights. Um, so they don't come up. You don't need to come up. Get someone who does your roof work to come up and do this for you. Okay, someone who does roof work can come up and do this for you. 
tanks and pumping water. So this will be replaced this year. I have a pressure tank and this will be replaced this year because it's not very, first of all, the tank is small. Uh, it's not the most hygienic. I will go through this stress almost every other day. So a pressure tank will give me better pressure than what I'm getting from this. So um, clean your panels, clean your batteries, clean your terminals, and you have a system that performs well. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.